Welcome to Camp Beer Reviews again. Right, today we've got a bottle of, probably going to butcher this, Mariner's Devil IPA. Coming in, 7%. It's out of Spain, believe it or not. Um, it's brewed by... Uh, brewed by... Bought and brewed by uh, Brewers Brothers. Uh, there we go. It's just there. Get my head out of the way or a shade. There we go. You see that? It's a bit dark. Anyway, it's cool. Look at that. Can you see how much sediment is in that? Oh, wall. Anyway, it is 150 IBUs. Right. Let's crack this one open then. Um, I think this was brewed. No, no, forget it. Anyway, silver bottle cap. Let's get this beer out. Let's see what we got. Bit of smoke. See that on my beard. Hands out of the way. Oh, that's dark. Wow. The colour on that. Get this side of the light. You can see how quite dark that is. I think the light is making it much paler than it really is. I just caught a whiff of the aroma then. <laughs> um, before I start, they're saying this is a an Imperial IPA. Um, I'm not too sure that, I mean it's 7%, an Imperial IPA. I, I'd expect an Imperial to be sort of upwards of 8%. Some of the Imperial um, equivalents would, you know. But um, I'd go. I'd say it's a double IPA. Simple as that. Seven percent. It's not an imperial for me. Anyway, I might be wrong. It's just me, and it? it's just my opinion and all that rubbish. Um, put it. Put put some comments on what you think of whether that should be an imperial or not. I don't think so. But you know, I'm just it's just me. Um, it's a 11.2 fluid ounce bottle. I don't know if that, that equates to, but size-wise, it's probably a 330ml uh, bottle. I don't know, I haven't done it. That's just off off my head. Anyway, it's getting an aroma on this. Oh, my word. <sighs> Tropical fruits with abundance. If you could smell the thickness of a beer... This would be it. This is. It, it smells gloopy. I know that don't make sense, but it's got that lovely kind of. It's got a, that tropical fruit, grapefruit, bit of pine. You got the citrusy, lemony, orangey, blood orange. Probably a blood orange. It's much stronger. Um. Mangoes. It just smells absolutely amazing. Look how dark that is. See, you're not really getting the. It's only seven percent. They used to must use a lot of stuff in this. Anyway, let's give us a crack. Cheers. Bitter. That's a bitter. That's a bitter one. Oh. Mm. My kind of beer. Not not a session, of course, but um. 
and off the aroma as well. It just stays there. You can you can smell it. You know I'm, I can sometimes be. I mean I'll smell it from the bottle here as well, but. I'm amazed to buy the amount of sediment in that bottle. I've never seen so much in a bottle before. There must be, well you saw it in the beginning of the review, there must have been a good 10 millimetre of sediment. I'll pour a bit of that in, but I don't, I mean, I might pour it all in. I'll just to show you, you know, later on anyway. Oh, a bit of carbonation going on there. Look at the lacing that's leaving on the glass. That. Lovely, fine packed bubbles, almost like a creamy top. The bubbles are so small, it's always a good sign. The bitterness now from the original first mouthful just drop down a little bit where your, your, your palate's got more used to what you're currently drinking I always find that with certain beers where if you you know you're drinking pails and you know the like or the lower IPA especially the English ones and then you try something with a little bit more kick um, a little bit more you know oomph in it loads of hops especially with the American hop varieties and, and and possibly some of the, um, the Australian and New Zealand hops they're very kind of a little bit more bolder but they've obviously used a lot in this and they use a lot of malts as well but it's a very well balanced beer but it's lovely it really is nice let me just show you the, uh, there'll probably be some rocks coming out of this one, there's so much sediment in. Look at that. I don't know if you, I haven't even got it all in there yet, but you can see. I don't know if you can see anything on there. No, the light's not picking it up. Then That's not actually a dirty glass, that's... That's the yeast, the live yeast they put in. Nothing wrong with it, drink it, it's good for you. Don't drink it with your eyes. Honestly, the taste. Look at that, like a cream. Beautiful. Like a one finger head, come back again. It's just amazing. And that's out of Spain. 2015, Spain is producing beers like this. Wow. Anyway, I'm rambling on. It's much smoother finish with the sediment, with the yeast in from the bottle. I did actually put all of that in as well. So, anyway, go out and try it. If you can get hold of it, it's from them Miranda's Marina's Devil IPA 7% 150 IBUs it's amazing I'll give this a quick rating yeah I'm ready for that now it's my first 10 out of 10 by a mile lovely anyway put us any comments you've got down below i'll see you next time cheers